This is an instructional video that will assist caregivers on performing a VAD driveline dressing change. EBSI 1502 is a skin-friendly LVAD driveline dressing change kit that is organized to help take you through a step-by-step -step process, walking you through each step in the correct order while maintaining a sterile technique. Each step is numbered and labeled with the supplies you will need for its corresponding step in its own pocket. Each pocket has pictures and instructions. Let's get started. We want to make sure that the patient is in a comfortable position, the room door is closed, you have a garbage can within reach, all pets are out of the room, and any fans are turned off. The first step is to prepare the area in which you will be opening the kit by wiping it down with a sanitizing wipe. Be sure to clean the area that exceeds the size of the drape when it is completely open, or 18 inches by 26 inches. Allow the area to dry completely before opening your dressing change kit. Tear open the first label where it says tear here, then unfold the blue drape until you see the dressing removal section. Tear open the removal section and take out the caps, masks, hand sanitizer, and adhesive remover. Place a cap and a mask on yourself, the patient, and any other people in the room. Follow the instructions as listed in the artwork on the pocket, starting with cleansing your hands with a hand sanitizer and allowing it to dry completely before applying your clean gloves. To remove the dressing, locate the V-notch underneath the driveline. There is a perforated section from the V to the driveline for easy removal of the dressing. Once you've located this V-notch, Lift and pull apart at the same time on each side of the V-notch to tear the perforated section. Then take the Freederm adhesive remover wipe and wipe underneath the dressing or anchor as you gently pull down with your other hand. Once the dressing is removed, Check the insertion site for signs of infection, such as redness, irritation, soreness, or drainage. Throw out the dirty dressing and gloves. Next, move to the application section. Tear open the pocket where it says tear here and remove the hand sanitizer and sterile gloves. Set these aside. Open the drape by pinching the pinch here labels, avoiding touching the inside of the sterile drape. Once the kit is open, use the hand sanitizer you set aside, allowing your hands to dry completely. Apply the sterile gloves as instructed by your VAD coordinator. Step one will contain a four x four gauze, which is to be used to gently lift and hold the driveline to cleanse the site. In step two, you will want to take out the chloroprep wands or betadine swap sticks as instructed by your VAD coordinator to clean around the insertion site and under the driveline. Cleanse the area for 30 seconds and allow it to dry for at least 30 seconds, being careful when handling the driveline and avoid pulling on it or moving it too much. Be sure the cleanser is completely dry before moving on to step three. Step three contains the Silverlon disc and saline wipe. For immediate activation of the Silverlon disc, 
Dampen the dark silver side of the disc with the provided saline wipe. Avoid oversaturating the Silverlawn dressing. Place the Silverlawn dressing around the driveline exit site with the dark silver side down against the patient's skin. The slit should approximately align underneath the driveline to ease removal of the dressing without pulling on the driveline. Step four contains the BioPlus skin barrier. Apply the barrier to the area where the dressing will adhere, avoiding the driveline insertion site. Once the BioPlus is dry, apply the dressing by first removing the larger backing of the dressing and lining the Silverlawn disc within the middle of the window. Remove the remainder of the backing and press the dressing into the patient's skin. Next, take the smaller closure piece of the dressing do not remove the backing. Slide this piece underneath the driveline but over the dressing. Once the closure piece is snug against the driveline, remove one side of the backing, pressing it into the skin. Then remove the other side of the backing and press the remainder of the dressing down. Step 5 includes the CathGrip Low Profile Securement Anchor. The easiest way to remember this application is A, B, C, 15, 15, 15. First, start with step A, which is the alcohol prep pad. Cleanse the area and allow the alcohol to dry completely before moving on to step B, which is the BioPlus Skin Barrier. Apply the skin barrier in the area you just cleaned with alcohol. Allow it to dry for 15 seconds before moving to the last step. You will want to wait the entire 15 seconds for it to dry completely. Finally, step C, which is the calf grip securement anchor. Remove one half of the backing, place on your skin and press, then remove the remainder of the backing, press and hold for 15 seconds. The hydrocolloid adhesive is heat activated, so it is important to allow the heat from your hand to warm it up to ensure it sticks properly. Once secure, place the driveline tubing over the straps and pull the longer strap over the driveline, inserting it through the slit on the shorter strap and pull it tight against the driveline. You will want this to be tight but not restricting the tube. If you have additional questions on EBSI 1502, please contact your healthcare provider.